Welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbin. Hopefully you saw last week's episode where I answered the challenge of an awesome YouTube channel, East Coast Streamers. The link will be in the description below, in which I answered 40 questions. This week, it's gonna be Cindy's turn to answer 40 questions. Think she's inside doing something? Let's go check her out. So hey. So what's going on here? I'm making pizza for dinner tonight. I am making a Detroit style pizza with a King Arthur flour recipe, but with my own dough. And I'll have a link to the recipe below. Awesome, are you ready to answer some questions? Yes, but before we answer the questions, I'd like to give a big thank you to our viewer from Tennessee who sent me this awesome Auburn apron. And it has an interesting story that goes with it. She was a flight attendant on Delta for 35 years and she wore these aprons on the charter flights when she flew the Auburn football team. And I thought that was awesome. So thank you very, very much. We're, I'm gonna really enjoy wearing this. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is Rich and I are having a fun little challenge to see whose video answering 40 questions gets the most likes. So I'm thinking that Rich's videos are gonna get more likes than mine, but you know, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And so. don't give me the thumbs down, whoever's doing that. <laughs> All right, ready for some questions? Absolutely. Okay, what, first question. What are three spices that you would not RV without? Let me think. Um, curry, herbs de Provence, and I think I like my Kent Rollins original spice mix. So. Okay, so what's the strangest one you wouldn't RV without? That would be fenugreek which is a very interesting spice. It's an Indian style spice, but I use it for my buttered chicken spice mix that I make. And I can vouch for the deliciousness of that buttered chicken. So what's your scariest RV moment ever? Oh my goodness, that, that was quite the story to tell and Rich wasn't there for it. We were leaving Gettysburg and he was outside doing some stuff in preparation for our leaving. And I was gonna warm some buns for breakfast. And I was having trouble lighting the pilot light for a couple of days. And so, you know, it wasn't a big surprise that the pilot light was a little bit of trouble to light this morning. And I finally, finally got it lit. And so I turned went from pilot to on warm, put the buns in the oven and walked away. But for some reason, I don't know if it was, I thought I smelled gas or just something didn't seem right to me. I went back to the oven and opened the door and flames just shot out, like almost up to my eyebrows. And I reacted by shutting the oven door and immediately turning off the gas, but that just scared the bejesus out of me. And come to find out once of course the oven cooled and everything was okay, that I had not lit the pilot light at all, but I had lit the actual gas line. Right, it had become detached from the pilot. Yes. So that was a very, very scary moment. Well, you had very good reactions and you did everything right. Yeah. Okay, question number five. What movie made you laugh the most? That would be The Party by Peter Sellers. I was always a big fan of Peter Sellers movies. Yes, Pink Panther especially. Exactly. Best RV advice you've ever received? Don't fight the site. That was something that my mom used to tell us and that has come in handy more than one occasion when it's been either too tight or Alexa, stop the timer. When the site has been too tight or it's been really difficult to get into. So if it gets really tough, you don't fight the site, you go back and get another one. Has that ever happened to us before? Uh, uh, more than once. More than once, exactly. And especially, I, the last one I remember is at South of the Border. Yep. And we can link the uh, video there. Yep. And uh, yeah, I remember we had to come back to... There's no shame in saying you can't get into the site. There's no shame in that. Okay, similar to me. State that you're most looking forward to taking your RV to this year. I like the South Dakota answer because I desperately want to see Mount Rushmore. And that's because North by Northwest with Cary Grant was one of my favorite movies. And it ended there. I've always wanted to see it. Okay, if you could sit around the campfire with someone from the past, who would it be? I think that would be Julia Child, just because I think she led a very interesting life. Even before she became a big chef and everything, she had a lot of things and experiences with the World War II and she was living in France. And so I think she had a very interesting life. You'd probably get some good cooking advice, I would guess, too. Absolutely. 
Okay, what are your top three non-RV YouTube channels? My top three RV YouTube channels. Uh, Kent Rollins, Cowboy Cooking. Yep. I do like his original spice mix that I mentioned before. Yeah, he does some great cast iron cooking. Yes, and super enthused. I like her because she does Disney vlogs and those are always fun to watch. And lastly, let me think. I think I like Animal Wonders from, I think the channel is called Animal Wonders Montana and they do some really nice rescue work with exotic animals and they show you how they care for them and I just really enjoy that. It's all three good channels. I yeah. enjoy them as well. So what's one thing you wish your RV had but doesn't? Oh, definitely. Um, an oven with a glass door so I can see what's happening inside. Mm -hmm. What was the worst fashion trend of all time? Shoulder hats. Definitely. I looked like an idiot in them because I was so short and they were so big. I think we'll put a picture of you in shoulder pads. Oh, that would be unfortunate. Speaking of short, how tall are you? I am 5'2", which is fairly short. Okay. What was something you collected as a child? I collected comic books. And I collected both Disney and Marvel and superhero comics. Okay. So who was your fav fav favorite comic book character? My favorite comic book character, I enjoyed the Disney characters, but my favorite superhero was Spider-Woman. And I even have the first comic book in her series. I'm very proud of that. Hmm. If there was a yearbook for RVing, what would you be named? I think most likely to bake a pizza in her RV. If you could compete in any Olympic sport, what would it be? Oh, definitely gymnastics. Definitely not luge, right? Definitely not luge. I would say gymnastics. I always had fun with gymnastics when I was growing up. Um, right now I have to autolyze, so we are going to take a break for 20 minutes. So it looks like our timer's going off. Alexa, stop the timer. So we are going to be kneading the dough a little bit, so uh, we can continue. All right, next question, question number 17. What's the next thing you're buying for your RV? A new refrigerator fan, because I think mine has um, yeah. reached its limit, and it, it's annoying to me that you have to take the batteries out to stop it. This new refrigerator fan will be just an on-off switch. And if you haven't checked out our video on our tips for traveling with your RV's fridge, of which that fan is included, check out this video up here. Exactly. All right, what's the most unusual food you've ever eaten? Okay, this was at a wine festival. It seems like all our crazy stuff comes with either a wine festival or something like that, but this was liquid cheese. What? Yeah, it was, it was, and it's not like, it, it was actually cold liquid cheese. So it's not like super anything, and it was white, and it was in a little glass, and it was not that great. So I gave it to Rich and made him drink it. Yeah, I drank cheese. Who drinks cheese? That's the way to take one of the greatest foods ever and make it crappy. Exactly. What's your least favorite food? My least favorite food is cauliflower. I've just never liked the texture or the taste of cauliflower. What's something you're trying to master? I am trying to master my sourdough bread. I have had one success and multiple failures. Yes. So we're working on that. Yeah, I will attest to the fact that the density of the sourdough is not where it should be. So what's your spirit animal? I would choose a bunny because I think they are fast, they're, they have good reflexes, they're very observant, and I think with those big ears, they have to be good listeners, right? Yes, I think most bunnies are cute too. Yeah, they're kind of cute. So what's your go-to cocktail? My go-to cocktail is a dirty martini, which would be vodka, vermouth, and a little bit of olive juice, hmm. just to give it a little tang. All right, next question. What book are you currently reading? I am reading Save Me the Plums by Ruth, I think her last name is pronounced Rachel. Rachel? I believe it's Reichel. Reichel. Well, that's the German pronunciation. Uh, 
it's a nonfiction book, and it's about the ed an editor of Gourmet Magazine and how she got her start and what inspired her, and it's also got recipes in it, so it's a book right up my alley. You've even read a book, an entire book on salt. That is true. I've read an entire book on salt, and I've read an entire book on milk. I, I read some very strange stuff. That's some, that's some serious cooking. Okay, question number 23. What natural wonder would you like to take your RV to to see? I would love to see the Northern Lights at some point. So maybe going up to Canada during the proper time to see that would be awesome. How about Alaska? Oh, Alaska too. That would be, a, well, I wouldn't want to bring the Airstream up to Alaska. I, I, I have nervousness about that. Man, I thought for an instant I had you on camera saying you'd right. love to take your RV uh, to Alaska. That's a difference that Cindy and I have in opinions. I want to go up there and she's kind of like, I don't want no. to take the trailer up there. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so what's your biggest RV pet peeve? Oh, I hate when people leave trash in the fire. I mean, seriously? Yes, I would agree with that. That is very irritating. Say something in a foreign language. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Nice, what does that mean? That means thank you very much in Japanese. All right, from your time living in Japan? Absolutely. What amazing thing have you seen while RVing? I think the most, the, the really neatest thing I saw while RVing, besides those amazing art, paintings in our Seminole Canyon video was a live tarantula just kind of doing its little tarantula thing exactly and for Vermonters that's pretty cool that is pretty cool actually that was a, that's a big hairy spider favorite cuisine to cook Japanese something in your RV that you can't live without something in my RV can a 12 my 12 volt fan I would probably perish without that all right, how about some tips? What are some of your tips for looking good while boondocking? Some of my tips for looking good by boondocking, definitely dry shampoo, and I'm a big fan of braids, especially when your hair is greasy. Yeah, I would say neither of those two things work for me. Mm, no. But, yeah. Well, the dry shampoo might. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Not with a crew cut. <laughs> Okay, before we answer some more questions, why don't you go ahead and explain how we're gonna assemble this Detroit style pizza. So the interesting thing about the Detroit style pizza is that the toppings are completely reversed. And so if you can imagine a pizza, starting with your onions, your meat, your cheese, and your, your sauce, you're gonna completely reverse that. So we're gonna start with our topping, which is gonna be the onions. And then we're gonna follow that with the meat. And then we're gonna follow that with the cheese. And we're gonna finish that with the sauce. So you ready to answer some more questions? I am available. All right, so what is your favorite thing of all time to bake? Pizza. <laughs> Detroit or normal? I like all kinds of pizza. And in fact, I had a really good Chicago pizza when we visited Chicago that one time. Yes. I think we had a coal-fired pizza in New York City as well that was really good. Oh, yes. Okay, strangest concert you've ever attended? That would be Wang Chung, and I think that qualifies as strange. Comment it's... below if you've been to a Wang Chung concert. <laughs> Not sure very many people have. A lot of people Wang Chung tonight. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so if you could be a groupie for any band, who would it be and why? I would love to be a groupie for the B-52s. because I'm a big fan of B-52s and we've been to one of their concerts and they are just completely awesome. Yeah, big fans. We went yes. to Cosmic Thing in Cleveland. That was spectacular. That was, a, that was one of our best concerts ever. Yes. Red wine or white wine? I will actually go in between and say rosé. Hmm, okay, and do you have a favorite rosé that you can recommend out there? I like the John luc Colombo rosé. But the reason I liked that rosé so much is it brings back good memories because we went to a John Luke Colombo wine dinner where they actually served that rosé, so. And we got to meet him, it was super cool. And we got to meet him, so that means he's immediately our best friend. Okay, least favorite thing about RVing on a long trip? Laundry. And what have we done to mitigate that hatred? We have bought the cuppet. Right, so check out that video here where we review our cuppet. We haven't taken it out on a trip. That should be in a few weeks. But yes, we'll, but we're looking forward to it. But you know how that is. 
Okay, so what crazy interesting thing do you bring on a long RV trip? I bring my starter, my sourdough starter, because uh, on a long trip, it needs to be fed. What was your favorite toy as a child? One of my favorite toys as a child was puppets because we used to have puppet shows and my cat used to attack our puppets during the puppet show, which caused all kinds of hilarity. Let's go ahead and see how that's looking so far. So you can see how I reserved the toppings. The um, onions and the peppers came on top. The uh, next was the salami and then I'm doing the cheese. And last but not least will be the sauce. All right, next question. This is question number 37. What would be your dream vacation? Oh, my dream vacation would be a around the world cruise. Ooh, that would be super sweet. That would be super sweet, yes. Okay, price no object, what would you buy? Price no object, what would I buy? Two tickets. For a round the world cruise. We'll leave the last few questions for when this is all done. We've got two questions left. You don't want to add the herbs while they're under the broiler because they'll just fry. So I think we have some final questions, right? We do. Question number 39. What is your RV's worst design feature? Oh, absolutely the roundabout. We've talked about this in videos before. And so finally, question number 40. What is something you are most looking forward to this year? I am looking forward to our international rally in Lebanon, Tennessee. Not only is it going to be the international rally, but I will get to see my parents also in Tennessee. For the first time in well over a year. Well over a year, probably more than that. So it's been quite a long time. Absolutely. Over 800 Airstreams should be there. That should be quite interesting. So what do you think? Do you think it looks kind of like uh, the picture? Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little overdone. Yeah, just minorly. This is real cooking here, people. True. So the bottom of that pizza looks spectacular, but we know from our analytics that people just kind of shut down when we do our ending. But if you stick with us, you're going to get a very good tip on how to cut up your pizza. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and give me a big thumbs up if you like my video better than Rich's video. And if you like my video better than Cindy's, give me a couple thumbs ups. <laughs> Comment below if you have an interesting answer to any of my questions. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one. And occasionally something odd and unusual every Tuesday. Thanks for watching. So what are you using to cut the pizza with, Beans? These are skizzes. And they are amazing. They are from Dream Farm. And if you go to our Amazon store, Link in the description. You should never cut pizza with a roller ever again. And it protects your pan underneath. So that is because to it's me got that little plastic thing. Right. To, that to me is the biggest benefit. And we understand that British people have always used scissors to cut their pizza. Right. But this is it's nice, clean, and sharp, and it's doing a great, great job. So there you have it. Love, sub, and tip. There you go. Cue the crickets. <laughs>